not going to bore you guys with a typical unboxing video. There are plenty of other great channels out there that do just that. So instead, what I'm going to do is provide you a little bit of a showcase, show you guys exactly how I choose to display my NECA figures. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Hydra Collectibles where we let our geek flag fly. My name's Luke and I'm your host and today I'm going to be showing you how I personally display my NECA figures. So before we get started, before we delve into the figures themselves, I just want to draw your attention first to this amazing, highly detailed, incredible dungeon diorama by Badger Dio. Badger Dio is run by Corin, and you can find her Instagram link in the description below. And yeah, these dioramas are just absolutely mind-blowing. They are absolutely stunning. This is actually my sixth diorama. I know, right? Crazy. My sixth one that I've actually bought from Corin, and I absolutely love it. So kicking things off with the NECA action figures, I will start here with Ash. Ash, as you may or may not know, is a character from the Evil Dead franchise. And yeah, I just thought it would be really fun to show him kind of stumbling in upon this nightmare, you know, this whole setup of monstrous ghouls within this basement dungeon. So this particular figure doesn't come with the chainsaw hand, however, I do believe this is the better action figure out of the two. So uh, yeah, one day I might buy that chainsaw figure, or I might buy the chainsaw figure as well as another one of these and get them modified in order to create the best of the best. Moving on down, we have Frankenstein, and yeah, this was my first Universal Monster action figure by NECA, and I messed up, guys, I really did. I bought the black and white version instead of the colour, but overall, I think it kind of works. I think that he doesn't stand out too badly in amongst his coloured friends. And yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Frankenstein's monster is dead flesh, and so having that pale, white, greyish skin actually works really well for this piece. Moving across, up on the stairs here, alerted to Ash's presence, is the American Werewolf Nightmare Demon. This figure is absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful, and I can't thank NECA enough for giving us this amazing piece. Also, I can't thank NECA enough for the fact that they gave us the multiple heads, meaning that you don't have to go searching for the individual figures, instead it's one fits all. So uh, I've chosen to put this particular head on this figure, but yeah, you could pretty much pick any of the four that they give you. Heading on down to the bottom of the stairs, we have one of the latest figures to turn up in my collection, the NECA Universal Monsters Wolfman. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This is an incredible sculpt. Now, one thing that I will say about this figure, if you are choosing to get him, is that his feet are very oddly sculpted. Now, granted, that is exactly how he should look. That is exactly how it would be in the film. However, yeah, he's basically on his tiptoes, and so it makes it very awkward to stand him. Now, it does come with a small stand. However, this is a small circular disc about the size of a coin, and uh, yeah, it's only for one foot. Now I've managed to hide this piece in amongst all the various spares and the props that come with the figures, so you can't actually see it in this display, but I can imagine that it would look quite odd to some people having all of their figures standing there and only one on this small round disc. Behind the Wolfman we have the Mummy. This came at exactly the same time. In fact, both of these only arrived yesterday. And yeah, another amazing sculpt. NECA really are knocking it out of the park with these. So combining these last three together, we have the Frankenstein, the Wolfman and the Mummy, all from NECA Universal Monsters. Now, of course, one of the most amazing things about these NECA figures are the props and spares that you get with each figure. These things are absolutely amazing and really do help set the scene. As you can see here, I have put various props from all different NECA figures, some of which aren't even included within this diorama setup, but as you can see, they really add to the display. Now, I'm not gonna go through everything within this diorama, but just pointing out a few of my favorite highlights. I've used some of the spare hands from the Frankenstein and from Ash in order to look as if monsters are behind those bars there within those cages. And I've used a spare hand from Stephen King's It the Clown in order to reach up out of the sewer grate there and grab the paper boat. Along the fireplace, I have a couple of the Puppet Master's heads, as well as Ash's girlfriend from The Evil Dead, whose head he decapitated in those first two movies. As well as these various props that I have gained from these characters, I also have a corpse prop that came with the Predator series. This was the only item out of the pack that I wanted, and I was lucky enough to find someone who didn't want that particular piece themselves, so I was able to pinch that for this diorama, and having him hanging there 
it is truly gruesome and truly awesome. Now what I will say is that he's quite bright in colour, he's a really nice red colour, red raw, but I do intend to dull him down with a couple of paints or a light wash. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with how this diorama looks. Now I would love to put this Kessler Wolf somewhere in here, but he's just far too big and it's not going to happen. As I get more pieces from the NECA Universal Monster range, I might have to swap and change some of these characters. For example, both the Nightmare Demon and Ash might vacate this diorama and go into something else. However, for now, I am happy with how this looks. During Halloween last year, NECA actually announced that we would be getting Dracula up next, so I'm really looking forward to getting him and placing him somewhere within this setup. However, I would also love to get the Creature of the Black Lagoon and possibly an Invisible Man wrapped up in bandages and his sunglasses. If, like me, you collect a lot of these type of figures with their various hands and accessories, you're going to want to pick up one of these nice little toolkits. Now, I personally really love to use these toolkits as opposed to a crafts box, purely because it's just a little bit more hardy and it's got this awesome handle so that you can just stack them and carry them wherever you need to go. Another thing that NECA has coming soon is their Universal Turtle Monsters. Now this is going to be real interesting because depending on how many Universal Monsters they create, I may or may not swap out this diorama for the Turtle figures because I imagine that there will be very few of those in comparison. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see how that works out. It's just very much going to be based upon the quantity of figures that NECA chooses to release. So with that, I'm going to sign off, but before I do, I'd like to encourage you guys once more to head on over to Instagram and check out Badger Dio. Again, the link is in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really goes a long way to helping the channel grow. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd like to encourage you to please do so. If you enjoyed these dioramas, why not check out my first one right up here. And until next time, I'll see you in another life. Take care.